Hello, hello, welcome to the Happy Happy Intuitive. This is your weekly reading. So this is going to be from the 27th of February to the 5th of March. But before we get into it, remember that these are general readings. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You will find all the cards below along with timestamps. So you quick, quick and easy can jump straight to your reading once you made your pick. So we have three decks to choose from as always. On number one, we have the one that's called Tarot Nefertari. On number two, we have the Romantic Tarot. And on number three, we have the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So, sink into your intuition, ask your angels and guides to guide you to pick either number deck, deck number one, two, or three. Pause the video if you need more time, and I'll be back in a moment, and I'll start with number one. Removing number three and number two. Okay, number one, so if you pick this Nefertari Tarot, then this is your reading. So we're going to pick six cards, as we always do in the weekly. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit before we pick the cards. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry that this is coming out a little bit late today. <laughs> We've had a winter vacation here in Norway, so uh, we have been out and about. And so I'm a little bit late doing some videos, but... Here it is anyway, so I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, there were two that just flipped on over and that's very beautiful cards. There's the sun and then you have the king of cups here. And then we have the wheel of fortune. Wow, this is beautiful. So far so good, number one, let's see. And then we have the knight of wands there. And the moon, a lot of major arcana cards for you. And also the ace of pentacles. So this is beautiful, number one. And you also have the ace of swords. Okay, lovely. Let me just have one sip of water here. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, so you do have the moon card here, and the moon can of course be where we are looking at our wounds, we're looking at the shadow side. We're looking at the dark night of the soul, but it can also be just something that's hidden, something that's not kind of out in the open. And since it is together with the king of uh, cups, it can of course be um, masculine energy within the water, a water sign. Or it can be you kind of looking at your wounds, or you have been looking at your wounds, or kind of overcoming whatever obstacles that you've had in the past when it comes to emotional um, trauma maybe or emotional heartache or sorrow, grief, something like that, then this can be an indica indication of you kind of overcoming that or kind of being done with feeling it through because we cannot escape our own emotions but we can feel it through and then let go. And with all the other positive cards around here, I would say that that might be something that's happening for you. Now you have the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck, together with the knight of wands, which is a new offer. Just a moment. I do believe I need a throat pastel today, just a second. I'm still struggling with my throat. <coughs> it can also be because I'm getting um, some messages, just a moment. Okay, okay. I'm hearing golden opportunity. Um, okay. It's like something is being presented to you. The Knight of Wands is very often a new offer. Okay. New, uh, sorry. <coughs> a new offer or a new energy coming in. It can also be new passion. Something is renewed within passion. Uh, but whatever it is, it comes together with the sun, so it's very positive for you. And I also feel, like, since I'm hearing a golden opportunity, it might have been something that you have been trying to get to work for you. And now finally, it's kind of the wheel is tipping in your favor. 
The, the Ace of Swords can be the card of victory here. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles, which is an offer of, uh, it can be a new job, renewed health. It can be money, you know, take that as it resonates. And it comes together with the Wheel of Fortune. So there is an offer here. An offer and a an, an kind of victorious outcome of something. But it might have been, you know, it can be, of course, your own emotional system, which is finally kind of coming into balance. You're getting renewed energy, maybe. And uh, kind of things are starting to move for you. So that might be one way of looking at it. Another way might be, of course, within work or within a opportunity that you have been wanting or dreaming for. And now, you know, it's, it's finally kind of coming into fruition is what I feel here. But with the moon card here, there is something about making sure that you see the shadow side making sure that you look on both the sun, the sunny side and the, and the shadow side regarding something, uh, you know, um, making sure that you have all the information with the Ace of Swords here can also be new information. So I would say that make sure that you are in the balance when it comes to the sun and the moon here, okay? Yeah, so let us just, I got these new cards here, so I just want to use those. They are Star Wars Affirmation cards. So I'm just going to shuffle those a little bit and then we're going to pull a card from, from there as well, number one for you. Yeah, I don't think I can make these readings so long today because my, my throat is really acting up today. But I will uh, draw a card from this and then we will draw some charms for you as well. Let's see what you get. Okay, so that's the uh, Obi-Wan. Who is more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Have faith in others, but don't follow them blindly. Trust your judgment to know when someone is a worthy leader. So this might have something to do, as I said, within work. It might be you as a leader or it might be somebody else as a leader. Uh, so you have to trust, trust your own judgment as to who's supposed to lead uh, the opportunity coming towards you can, be, of course, be an offer to lead something, to become your own leader or to uh, to start leading others in a way. That can also be, you know, starting up a YouTube channel, Instagram account, something like that with your hobby or whatever that is. It can be, you know, whatever it is that you have been wanting to take charge of and do, you know, step into. And they, they are saying that you have to trust your own judgment regarding that. So it can be many ways that it can, this can be read today, but all in all, the energy here is very positive, number one, I have to say. So let us pull a couple of charms for you. Okay, so you have the happy snowman here. For me, that my, my, my emotions regarding that is just happiness. Uh, big grin on the snowman here. Now you got some money coming in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is a money offer or an offer of a new... Of, or offer of something that can generate money. You have the tree of life. So that can be, of course, growth. Something is growing uh, for you. It can be a new branch uh, on the tree. It can be, of course, a money tree. It can be uh, work related, you know, you kind of branch out. Um, but it can also be just kind of generational thing. Uh, something happened within the generation. Maybe something will be inherited. Maybe this is in heritage for you. You know, take that as it resonates. You also have an owl here. So that's, of course, wisdom. So I feel like you have gained the wisdom here to start up whatever this is or take to say yes to this offer, whatever that is for you. Um, so stepping into that wisdom, you know, and I, I, my overall feeling regarding this reading, number one, is very positive. So whatever it is that you've been thinking about, whatever it is that you want to move into, <clears throat> I feel like this is the time. Let us just check underneath here. Six of Swords here. So you are aiming for better shores. You're aiming for what it is that you truly want here. And it is in balance since you have the sun and the moon. You have two aces here. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Chalices or King of Cups. So I, I, feel, I feel like the energy here is very positive and very... Um, um, happy energy, very um, emotionally stable. I feel like this is something you can trust in, okay? If, if you were questioning that, uh, I feel like this is trustworthy and this is balanced 
okay? But they say do trust your judgment to know, okay? Know who is who is going to be the leader for this, who is the one who's going to take charge regarding whatever this is. So trust your intuition when it comes to that, okay? So that was pretty much all I had for you for this week, number one. Wishing you a beautiful week. Till the next time I see you. Bye. Okay, number two, so if you pick this deck, the Romantic Tarot, then this is your reading. Let's pull six cards as we always do in the weekly. I'm sorry, my voice is not 100% today. I, I'm still struggling with uh, coughing a lot. I don't know if it's just the time, maybe something regarding communication in my communication chakra that is in need of some looking into. Uh, I have been working on some stuff for a while, so that might be it, or, or I'm still having a cold maybe, I don't know. <laughs> But it's still kind of acting up a little bit, so that's why these readings today are not going to be that super long. But I wanted to come on and do a reading for you guys, so. Let's see. We get the Two of Pentacles. Now you have the Hermit. The Eight of Swords. That is the Judgment card. The Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. And underneath, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the feeling over here is uh, not seeing your way out or feeling like uh, you have been put in a cage, kind of. Uh, you've kind of been fenced in. Uh, it comes together with Eight of Wands, though. And Eight of Wands is an action card. So, since you also have the Wheel of Fortune here and all the other cards here are quite positive, I would say that this, this uh, feeling like you're fenced in, uh, I feel like you have the energy or you have the uh, uh, capability to move out of that. Uh, it's not like you don't, that you are stuck in a way. If you feel stuck, I, I believe that that's kind of uh, ego uh, telling you that you're stuck. Because I, when with these cards, I feel like <clears throat> you're actually not stuck. You have the power to take action to move away from it. That's kind of what I feel here, okay? So I just have to be honest about what I feel. So there is the two of pentacles though, and the two of pentacles is about balance. So it might be that you're feeling imbalanced, but that doesn't mean that you can't get out of the rut, okay? Now there is the judgment card here, and for me that's of course a spirit coming down with a message. So I don't know if there's a message that you've been missing here, uh, because I, there might be a message on how to move forward, uh, how to move away from this, or the message in itself saying you are not stuck, you're just out of balance, okay? So that might be something. But you do have the Hermit card here together with the Six of uh, Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles is also a balance card. It's a balance of giving and receiving. So it might be that you're, you are feeling imbalanced of your energy here, of in giving and receiving in, in a relationship or in a workspace. They are asking you to go within. They're asking you to tap into the wisdom within you and maybe take a break, okay? Step away from it for a little while. Um, Maybe take your time to, uh, you know, have a spa day or take care of you a little bit so that you can find your balance again. Because I don't think you're stuck. Again, I keep coming back to that. You're just in balance. And maybe there's something in your chakra system that's in need of some healing or some balancing. But you do have the Wheel of Fortune here. So that is good news. Underneath you have, again, the Hangman. So it's about a new perspective. It's about taking your time you know, uh, to, to gain a new perspective on, on something here. But the good news is that you're not stuck. You might be out of balance a little bit, but if you take time to contemplate and go within, then I do believe that that will uh, be resolved, okay? So let us pull a Star Wars affirmation card for you and then some charms. Okay, you got Yoda. I am enough. I might feel small right now, but
but size matters not. What really counts is the difference I make in the world around me. So if you were, were asking a question if what you have been doing is enough, then yes, it is definitely enough. Maybe that's why the imbalance is coming, because you keep thinking that you're not doing enough. Well, they're telling you that you are. And whatever it is that you do in the world matters for other people, whether you believe it or not. So if you have been feeling like you've been giving too much energy at work and not receiving so much, this is a message that they do appreciate what you're doing. Maybe they're not so good at showing it, but they do appreciate it. It can also be that you're not appreciated within the family, you know, whatever that is you're, you're doing. Maybe you're feeling like you're not getting enough back for what you're giving into it. So they're saying that all, all what you're doing is, uh, is appreciated and it, it does count. You are enough, okay? So stop giving so much then if you feel like you're imbalanced because you're giving too much, okay? So ask them then to help. And, and regain a new perspective maybe on how you're supposed to give. You know, how much and what in what time, for instance. So let's pull some charms for you, number two. Okay. You got this little blue uh, ball here. And for me, that's about, it's the air element. Uh, it's kind of um, clouds and, and the blue sky. And maybe you're too much in your head right now. Maybe that's what's going on, okay? Maybe your ego is telling you that you're trapped. And I don't believe you are. Now you have the bell, so something is ringing for you, is what I hear with that. The bells will ring for you. So so that's, for me, a very positive sign. It's like, it will come, but you have to be patient, maybe. There's a ribbon here, so for me that's kind of a reward. And you do have the falcon here. Okay, so falcon, of course, oh yeah, seeing the higher perspective, like they also say here with the hanged man, and also with the um, the hermit here. There is, there might be that your ego is telling you stories that's not true. So you might want, want to get a higher perspective on something, okay? Uh, contemplate, you know, take your time uh, finding your balance again, okay? Yeah. Because I, I don't feel like you're stuck. It's it, That's an illusion. You have the power within you. Y you are enough. You have the power to change all of this. Okay? That's kind of what I'm feeling, number two. Okay? That's all I had. I have to make this short today because my voice is not 100%. But uh, I'm wishing you a beautiful week, number two, wherever you are in the world. Until the next time, I see ya. Okay, number three, so if you pick this deck, then this is your reading. So we're going to shuffle and pull six cards. So this is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Uh, I'm sorry, my voice is not 100%. I don't know if it's still a cold or if there's something I need to work on within my uh, communication chakra. But uh, I'm still a little bit coughing and, you know, not having <laughs> the best voice today. But... So I have to make my readings a little bit short. Anyways, okay, so the Ace of Cups was the first card you got, number three. Five of Wands. Now you have the Strength card. The Three of Wands. The um, Knight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. And underneath we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so there's a lot of fire energy here. Uh, so you have uh, three cards that's kind of fire energy here together with the strength card. So I'm feeling there might have been a dispute with a lot of emotions in it, with a lot of passion in it. Um, someone didn't see eye to eye. Might have been regarding an offer, regarding money, maybe, since the Knight of Pentacles is here. Uh, but... The, the beautiful thing here is that you do have the strength within you since the strength card comes up. There is an ace of cups here and there is a three of wands. So I feel like whatever the situation has been, there is an offer here. There's a loving offer. Uh, it can also be abundance. 
and it comes together with the three of wands, which is your ships will come in, okay? So whatever this dispute was, I feel like it's not going to impact uh, in a severe way, okay? Um, the offers are coming with the Knight of uh, Pentacles and the uh, Ace of Cups here. And you have the strength within you, and it might also be an invitation to stand strong. It might also be to an invitation to take action regarding something, because the Eight of Wands can be the card of action. And it can also be the card of um, something happening quickly. Now, you do, however, have the Hierophant here, and underneath the Hierophant, the High Priestess. So, I would say that this is an invitation to, to you know, contact the spiritual world either through another person or yourself directly. It might be some information that's needed from them for you to understand either why this happened or how this happened or how it, what kind of action you should take regarding this, okay? So make sure that this action that you take is uh, from the space of your higher self and not the ego. But there's no swords here, so I'm not worried about it, uh, you being too much in your ego. But since there has been a dispute, make sure that you, um, you know, get into your heart space regarding how to solve and how to take action regarding this. But I'm not too worried since I'm seeing the other cards around here. So I do feel like you're going to land with your both feet on the ground here, um, number three. Okay, so let us pull a, a Star Wars affirmation card and then a couple of charms in the end for you today. Okay, so I have Chewbacca here. Strength is more than just a physical attribute. Appreciate your inner strength. Reflect on what strength you possess and observe the strength in the friends and family around you. Yeah, so that you have the strength there. Is, that's what I said as well. Uh, but appreciate your inner strength. So again, the connection with your spirit and your heart space here, I feel like they're inviting you to do, especially with these two cards over here. There might also be a spiritual teacher or a spiritual person for you that can help you in this situation if needed. Uh, but I do feel like you do have the strength within you, okay? And something is coming towards you that's beautiful here as well. So, as I said, not too worried about it. Uh, but there might be some action that is needed in this situation. So let us pull some charms for you in the end, number three. Okay, so the alien here, I want to believe it says here. And you might have been feeling alien or alienated in a situation. That might be uh, something that's going on. You might also be someone who's very interested in star family or visitations from other planets. Maybe that's something for you to look into. Now you have this little um, blue um, bead here. Blue might be a color for you to wear right now. I see also blue in this card that I pulled. Blue for me is also a connection with Archangel Michael. And also the air element. So maybe something needs to be aired, I'm hearing. Maybe something needs to be aired, okay? Just something that came to me. You have the cat here, and the cat goes the distance on it, its own. Uh, so it might be an invitation to spend some alone time here. Uh, cats also do what they want to do in the moment, so they don't, uh, you know, put uh, restrictions on themselves. They just feel and do, and maybe that's a uh, mind space that you want to uh, try out this week. Now you have the heart, as I said, invitation to go into the heart. And also you have a little cup of tea here. And so for me, it's kind of an invitation to take a break, maybe meet up with a friend at a cafe, maybe uh, brew yourself a good cup of tea or coffee and kind of cuddle up in the sofa. It's kind of a take care of you kind of thing. But very often for me, I it's this is represented for, you know, if somebody invites you for a cup of coffee or something, then accept, get yourself out, go to a cafe, you know, indulge yourself in that way. Um, might be something to shift some energies as well. Maybe whomever you had this dispute with want to kind of make up or meet up at a cafe and have a, have a talk, you know, something like that. Then I would say accept that invitation. Uh, I feel like that's the message here as well. But definitely check in with your spirit team because I feel like there's something they want to tell you here. There's some action that's needed, uh, but I do feel that whatever comes out of this situation, it looks really good for you, okay? 
That's all I had for you this week. I hope you appreciated this. I'm sorry it was a little bit short and a little bit late this week, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So wishing you a beautiful week, number three. Until the next time, I'll see you. Bye.